we can sign in right here and we can hit with our password here and then we'll sign in. All right, so I just want to go over how we can do authentication using Firebase uh, in a React Native project. So I have a basic uh, React Native project scaffolded here, um, and this is for a little side project I'm working on. So I'm just going to show you how I implemented it here, um, and I'll leave a link in the description to an article which I used heavily uh, for this, showing you how to do this kind of step by step. Um, so let's uh, show you what we got here. We got kind of a welcome page here with a sign in and sign up button. And if we take a look on the left here, I'll show you kind of the, the structure we're using for this. So in our root, we have a source folder here. Uh, inside of that, we have a config. Um, and I'll cut to a little bit of how you can uh, sign up for Firebase right now. So let's look at that. So come on over here to uh, firebase.com and uh, let's actually configure stuff. So first of all, you're gonna go ahead and sign up for an account. Uh, and then once you've done that, you're going to see on this right, we can actually go to our console right here. Um, now, we are got a few projects here. We're going to create a new project here, and we just called it uh, test auth, um, and we'll just call it that and continue. Uh, you can add um, analytics if you want for this. Uh, we don't need that for this one, but if you want, uh, add those. And then it'll just create our project right like that. All right, and then once it's done, it's gonna say our project's ready here. It's gonna take us over to our uh, project right here. So for this, we're gonna be using authentication right now. Um, and you can see uh, some different options right here. So we can uh, come down and hit authentication and we can say get started. And you can see all these different ways that we can handle authentication. So we have like Google, Facebook, all, all these different things, Twitter. Uh, for us, we're just going to do email and password, but very easy to add all these different ones once you have uh, something going. So we're going to allow our users to do this. We're going to enable this um, and we're not going to do this password list right now. So we'll save that. And then now we're going to come over to our uh, project settings over here. Uh, and you can see all of these different settings. And then we're going to come down and we're going to add an app and we're actually going to be adding it for web because that's the Firebase version we're going to um, use for this. So we'll just say test auth like this and we're going to register this auth. We're not going to be using hosting or anything. All right, so you can see we get some instructions here. Uh, we're going to install Firebase. Uh, so we can actually go ahead and do that right now. So we can open up our terminal again uh, and we can open up a new window and we're just going to say um, npm install Firebase like that. We can let that run while we go back here. Um, and then we're going to want to copy this over. So make sure you copy this and then we can continue over to our console. And I believe that's basically all we need to do for any of this. So this is where you'll see uh, your Firebase config. Okay, so inside uh, your config is your Firebase here. Um, and these are all using uh, environmental variables, environmental variables, so um, you don't see these, but that's basically your Firebase config that we showed um, just how you signed up before. So that will be right there like that. Uh, and I'm using some analytics and stuff. Uh, actually, I'm not for this yet, but uh, will be in the future. So that's our config here. Uh, and then kind of the root of this auth here is this hook, this uh, use auth hook. So if we come in here uh, and we can see this use auth hook. So we're bringing in from Firebase auth uh, this get auth and this auth state changed here. And, and then uh, we are uh, creating the get auth right here. Uh, we're on this is actually spelt wrong here. So let's just fix that real quick State that's there that's state Okay um, And this is a basic auth hook that I took just straight from that article I mentioned earlier uh, We're using a use effect uh, And this is to unsubscribe from the state changed 
uh, the auth state change, we're passing in the auth and uh, the user. And then we're setting the user down here, otherwise uh, the user signed out. So we set them to undefined. Uh, so that is kind of the heart of uh, what we're doing with auth right now. And then we have uh, this basic navigation right here. So we have a navigation folder and inside of it, we have two different stacks. So we have an auth stack, which we can take a look at here. And this auth stack is if you're not uh, signed in. So you can see we're bringing in these three components right here. And these three, you won't need to be uh, authenticated for. And then we're setting the stack down here um the stack screens just like this so this will be your initial route your welcome screen if you are not authenticated and then we have uh, our index which we'll do our kind of our logic uh and then i'll show you that in a sec but the user stack here is if you are authenticated here uh, and i'm using tabs so uh bottom tabs for this and i'll show you once we sign in in a sec what that looks like um so these uh, we're bringing in yeah our home screen here and our call screen right here so these can only be viewed if you are authenticated and then i'm setting them as uh, tabs now this index.js right here in our navigation uh, is going to be our root navigation and we are going to if there is a user basically so we're bringing in this use auth and it's going to determine whether uh, this is the hook that was created it's gonna determine if there is a user, we're gonna uh, return them to the user stack. Otherwise, uh, they can't see the user stack, so they'll go to the uh, auth stack like that. So that is uh, pretty straightforward. And then we have just our various screens right here. Uh, so that's all pretty, pretty straightforward. And then again, this root navigation here, we're just gonna import it. Uh, we're bringing in some stuff right here, but basically you are just gonna be, that's gonna be all your, um, your uh, rendering in this app.tsx is this root navigation. So that is how we uh, end up doing that. All right, so we can show you how this works. We can sign in right here, and then we can hit it with our password here. And if we sign in, we're brought to uh, this kind of welcome, or this is the home screen rather, and it gives our uh, email address here. Uh, these are just different tabs. We have kind of our logout button right here on there. So very basic stuff, just some bottom tab navigation, uh, but allows you to uh, do the sign in, sign out stuff. So then we go log out right here and we're brought back to kind of the main page. So basic auth stuff, um, but that is how it works with Firebase. It makes it really simple to do. Um, you can use something like Superbase too, uh, if you don't want to uh, write your own backend makes things pretty easy. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the script description for uh, some of this code. And uh, yeah, you can check it out yourself. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.